Cats and biotech don't make an obvious pairing, but for Anna Skyer, feline DNA is the future. The Los Angeles-based entrepreneur is building a business out of analyzing cat genetics and assembling a mountain of data that could be used to benefit humans too. So Anna, explain to us what your business is. So Base Buzz is a pet genetics business. In the simplest terms, it is a business that focuses on using genetics, so the DNA of your pet, to understand your pet better. Our technology is quite different from all the other technologies that are out there in the genetic space. Uh, we focus mostly on cats, although we're looking at other animals. And the business works in a really simple way. We get a little bit of the DNA of your animal, and you do that through taking an adhesive tape, put it on your cat, taking it off like a bit of a wax job, sending it to our lab where we extract the DNA, sequence it, and give you back results. And those results will tell you a little bit about their ancestry, breed, where they come from, where their parents come from, but also it goes deeper. And we look at health and trait issues, things that you would take to your vet and really understand your cat better from the inside out. And we're in your lab, obviously, this is where the analysis goes right. on. Why cats? Why choose cats? It's a great question. So there's a few reasons for, cat, for choosing cats first. The cat is a really unique, internet-loving phenomena. And so starting with a cat, uh, when you're doing a consumer-focused business, was in inadvertently became kind of our calling card. It became a very easy thing to market. People loved all of our cat videos. And then the science reason behind it is actually even stronger. The cat turns out to be a um, an animal which is the most similar to humans outside of primates. It's genetically more similar than dogs and pigs, and it has become something of a model for humans, both in its genetics and in its behavior, since the cat lives in our house, you know, it eats our food, it plays with our kids. It's very, very similar to humans in some behavioral ways. Our big vision, our mission with Base Buzz, is to use animal genetic data, particularly from cats, to understand how to make better drugs and work with pharmacies and pharmaceutical companies, not only for pets, but also for humans. Is this a race to have the biggest database of cats? Absolutely. The database is really the core of this company. Although I love speaking to pet owners and giving them the results and seeing them get to know their pet better, um, the, the big value is the database. Imagine a database of millions of data points uh, of cats all over the world. We can use that database to not only understand cats better, but to use that to model and understand humans better. And that's really where the interest and the passion is uh, for both myself and my co-founder in this company. Is Basepaws making money? Basepaws is making money currently. It's, it's a huge thing to say for a biotech. Biotechs usually take years to get to a point when they're making money. So we have over a thousand folks right now that have purchased our product. A thousand people in their first year of business that have bought in and understood and, and liked us, I think is a huge deal. Before launching Base Paws with her co-founder, Ms. Skyer worked at consumer deals website Groupon in Russia and helped found ventures ranging from big data in advertising to social media. Does a founder have to eventually settle on some big world-changing idea or is it more feeding your enthusiasm to be entrepreneurial? Um, Base Paws is my fourth company. I've had uh, the company before Base Paws uh, was a spectacular fail, a spectacular fail. It was a company called uh, Breakup Buddy, and it was an app that was trying to create a, a space for people that had breakups. I thought it was the most brilliant idea in the world. I was so excited about it, and a year in and, and thousands of dollars in, it, it went nowhere. What are the mistakes that you've made? Oh, so many. Um, the biggest mistake is not firing fast enough. It's knowing in, in your gut that this is not the right person for you and not being able to let them go and having the business really suffer because of it. Is there a bit of advice you wish you'd received before you went down this entrepreneurial path? Well, this path, uh, I did not pick. It just kind of picked me. Um, I wish somebody would have told me how hard it is I wish someone would have told me I wouldn't have the weekends. I don't have weekends. I haven't had a weekend since I could remember. I'm working all the time. 
as as a female, it's I think it's just a little bit harder. Um, I find myself that my personal life has taken a back seat and has never even been on the front seat ever. Work is number one. It's it's challenging because I know I can never go back to having a normal normal job. I cannot go back to working for somebody else. Do you feel that you have to have a plan B as a founder? I mean, in any of the ventures that you've been in, have you, have you had a backup plan in case things don't work out? Oh, no, there's no plan B. I, I don't think I have time to think about plan B. There's no time to think about any extracurricular ideas or activities, um, but that's just me. My co-founder, Sean, uh, at two in the morning, I'd get, I have this amazing idea. Let's use blockchain and cat genetics and we can build the next cat zoo. And, and I find myself to be a very practical co-founder so in this case. So it's part of your co-founder's role to keep your other co-founder Absolutely. on focus. Focused, focused. The beautiful thing about doing a startup is that you cannot do it alone. You really can, unless you are, I think, a superwoman. I would not be able to do a startup alone. So I have an incredible co-founder who is exactly the opposite of me. He's an MD, PhD, biochemist, techie, who works until four in the morning coding sites. And, you know, I'm this practical, business-focused, looking at the bottom line, let's talk about the next five years, you know, planner. So the, the mesh is really good. Right. And I find that I have no plan B. He has plan C, D, and E, and I have to just pull him back to cats, 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 cats. Right.